What's happening? My name is Keith Dixon and I invented cooking. Today we're making Caribbean style oxtail with butter beans and dumplings. Are you ready? I've been all over the world and everywhere I go and everywhere I make oxtail, people end up licking the plates. They just can't get enough. So today I'm going to teach you how to do the same thing so you can please your guests and have them coming back for more. The secret to the best oxtail is my secret ingredient, my oxtail seasoning. And all of these recipes you can find online or purchase them. Let's get started. We're going to start off by seasoning the oxtail and we have to let it marinate overnight. Here's my special magic blend. Doesn't that look good? Look at the color of that seasoning. This is all going to make the oxtail just incredible. It's going to be juicy, it's going to be tender, it's going to be savory, it's going to be magical. Done. Now we're just going to massage the seasoning deep inside of the meat and we're going to let it sit overnight or for a few hours. Next we're going to add a, about a fourth of a cup of soy sauce. And the soy sauce is going to assist it with that beautiful golden bronze color that oxtail is famous for. So we're going to add about a fourth a cup of that. Mix it up. Now we're ready to do our seasoning paste. In our seasoning paste goes about two bunches of fresh scallions. four garlic cloves, about two inches of garlic, my favorite scotch bonnet pepper, fresh thyme, this is about two tablespoons of fresh thyme, and we're just going to puree everything together to make our seasoning paste. In addition, we're going to add about two onions. Oh, I can smell that. Wow. Mmm. Alright, our seasoning paste is done. Can you see that? That's what I'm talking about. I invented cooking. Alright, now that our oxtail is seasoned, and our seasoning paste is done, we can put all of this inside of the pot. We're going to add a little bit of olive oil to our pan, and I have it heated to about medium high. We're going to add our olive oil so that the meat doesn't stick. We can see that oil sizzling. Now we're going to add this wonderful oxtail. Listen to that sound! Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Look at the color on that already. If you don't have that seasoning, Keith's oxtail seasoning, you gotta go online and get it. It's serious. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna let this saute in its own juices. We're gonna let the flavor cook now. We're gonna let it brown. All right. While this is sautéing, we can get started on our dumplings. Dumplings are super easy to make, but they make such a big difference in the oxtail. It thickens the gravy and it adds an extra embodiment to the dish that people just love. To do this, we need all-purpose flour, salt, and sugar. We're going to start off with about two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. We're going to start off also by adding one teaspoon of salt and we're going to add about two teaspoons of sugar. You can use brown sugar, you can use white sugar. I love brown sugar. We're going to mix it all up. Make sure all of the sugar is incorporated well, the salt is incorporated well, and we're going to add water. And it's done. I have some ice cold water here and I'm going to add about 
one fourth to a half a cup, just so that it comes together. I get so excited when I cook oxtail. It's one of my favorite dishes. Just a little bit more flour to make sure that it doesn't stick to my hand. And we're done. This is the texture we want. It's not sticky, it's pliable, it's soft, and it's perfect. Next, we're gonna add just a little bit more flour on the top of it, a little bit of flour in the, on the pan so that it doesn't stick, and we're gonna begin rolling it. Now you can call these dumplings or spinners, whatever your preference is, I like to call them dumplings. And we're just gonna roll them in little strips like this. And then at the end, when the oxtail is about 90% done, we're gonna add this in, along with the butter beans. All right, our dumplings are finally done. We're gonna let them sit, we're gonna let them rest, and now we can add the rest of the ingredients to the oxtail. As you can see, I've let the, I've let the oxtail simmer for about 10 minutes, and it's made its own juice. That's what I want. So now we can add the extra ingredients that we've created, our seasoning paste. I'll let it set, cook down and get flavorful and beautiful. And I'm gonna add about 85% of it and I'll add the rest of this at the end when I add the beans and the dumplings. To this mixture, I'm also going to add about one teaspoon of uh, whole allspice berries to simmer along with it. And I'm going to add about a half a cup of ketchup. And the ketchup is going to assist with color and with the, the sweet and salty balance. It's going to make it nice. Give this a stir. That smells so incredible. You just don't know. Increase the heat a little bit, and it's done. I'm gonna let this simmer for about two hours, or however long it takes to get tender and soft and fall off the bone. The moment has finally arrived. Guess what, the oxtail is ready. Let's take a look. As you can see, the oxtail is a beautiful bronze color. I know what I'm talking about. All we have to do now to this is we're gonna add our dumplings and we're gonna add our butter beans. But first, let me tell you what I, what I did to this, to this pot. I added about six cups of water and I, I added it after the oxtail made its own juice. I also added one half cup of evaporated milk. Now I'm adding the dumplings that we made. And boy, is this gonna make this dish holler. So now that our dumplings are in, we're gonna give the pot a swirl because we don't wanna break up the oxtail that's so super tender, and we don't wanna mash up our dumplings. To the pot, I'm just gonna add a little bit more water so that the gravy will stretch, and so that nothing will stick to the bottom of the pan. And then about 10 minutes from now, I'm gonna add our butter beans. Wow, look at the color of that. Look at those dumplings. All that's left is to finally add our butter beans. And once again, I'm just gonna swirl the pot so that everything gets mixed evenly but without breaking it up. Look how those beans are coated. And it's done. I can't wait to just sit down and have a nice big bowl of this oxtail and butter beans and dumplings. 
This is what I call an incredible meal. You're gonna love it. Well folks, the moment has finally arrived. It's been good, it's been great, but it's getting late and Keith has to make his plate. And boy, is this a plate, look at this. Homemade oxtail with butter beans and dumplings. It just doesn't get any better than this. My name is Keith Dixon and I invented cooking. And I'll see you next week.